morning you guys so i just arrived work i have about 30 minutes before i clock in so i figured i would do a reset or at least part of it film part of it just to change up my environment so i'm not always filming like in the house so we are halfway through the year officially and i don't know how that happened uh, a lot of people do these like mid-year resets in june i choose to do it in july because it's officially officially halfway through the year it's also the beginning of the third quarter of the year so you know how it is i want to just keep it short and snappy i this is just a personal preference i like watching these videos but i do not like watching ones that are like longer than 30 minutes in fact i don't even click on it if it's longer than 30 minutes and this is no shade towards anyone who does 30 minute recess i just i, I just can't and anyways yeah let's get into it before i start the reset let's do a recap i was gonna do a recap for the first six months of the year but like i may need my notes for this and i'm currently filming my car so we'll just do a recap for june so or a highlight let's say a highlight from june is like it started off really strong i would say because i was in florida june 3rd through the 4th literally for one day to collect my things from storage i have to tell this story again for those who are brand new if you didn't know I lived in Florida for about seven to eight years and I worked for Disney in those years and so in 2021 so after the pandemics when I decided I don't want to do Disney anymore so what I did was I moved out of my apartment I was supposed to actually quit my job before moving but the way things worked out it didn't work out the way I wanted it so I moved out of my apartment so my lease my contract ended April 30th 2021 I moved out I was staying in an Airbnb for like two weeks and my friend was so kind to have me come stay with her I stayed with her for two months and then I quit Disney in July of 2021 and then moved back home and got another job the job I'm currently sitting in the parking lot of so yeah so I had my stuff in storage all those years and so I I was just down in Florida I was just down in Florida to get my stuff out of storage all of it and close that contract and I'm just really thankful to my uncle and aunt because my uncle was like I was worried about it but I feel like he was more worried about it because it was a waste of money when I signed up for that storage it was about hundred and seventy dollars a month which is still expensive but I was like okay I just need a place to put my stuff at and then over the years it kept increasing it you know how it goes with inflation and then finally at the beginning of this year through like when i pulled out my stuff i was being charged 310 dollars a month to have my stuff in storage 310 dollars and the late fee is 50 dollars so i'm like really thankful that my uncle was like hey let's go and get your stuff out of course that means i wasn't able to bring everything home with me which is okay i got the stuff in boxes that are very important to me important i mean i was able to live without it for three years but like i got the stuff that's of sentimental value and then we had to junk the whatchamacallit the furniture i would have liked to sell the furniture or like give it to somebody who really needed it somebody that i know but we had time constraints so we just had to junk it we got all my stuff in boxes in his van and then we had to he called the junk people to come in to remove everything and so yeah my last payment for that storage unit was in yeah at the beginning of june so even when i went there i told the lady straight up like you're gonna get your money on the 14th which is late because we have to pay on the first as with you know rent for other things but we were given until the 6th to pay without a fee so after the 6th if you pay after the 6th that's when you get a late fee but because my stuff was out of storage like they didn't put on the late fees for me so that was nice i ended up paying 288 dollars still a lot but it wasn't a full 310 dollars or three 360 with the late fees or whatever so got my stuff out of storage and also i watched three movies three good movies with my mom and my brother so it's very rare that me my mom and my brother all get to watch a movie together because my brother is usually doing stuff or i'm doing stuff like i watch movies with my mom all the time sometimes i watch with my brother but all three of us that's very rare so that was really nice and these were like really good movies it wasn't like anything bad so in case you're wondering the movies i watched were on tubi which is free and i watched malignant they're all scary movies or horror movies so i watched malignant play dead which is a 2b original and dead silence so those those movies were really good so yeah that's the june recap 
Now let's get into what I'm hoping to happen for July through the end of the year, or at least the end of the third quarter. So the first thing I want to go over is my YouTube analytics. So I'm currently, it's, today is June 29th. So by July 1st, this may change, but today is June 29th and I just checked my number of subscribers. I'm currently sitting at 1,385 subscribers, so thank you for that. I hit 1,000 subscribers last October, if you didn't know. So go check out that video. I did post a video about hitting 1,000 subscribers. Now the other piece of the puzzle in order to get monetized is get 3,000 public watch hours, or is it 4,000? I get confused. They changed it now, but I don't know if those uh, 3,000 watch hours apply to me since I started when like the requirement was 4,000. I don't know, but I am, I would say I'm more than half of the way there. I have currently 2,000 and I think 85 public watch hours. So again, thank you guys for that. I really think me posting every day in April helped which I'm getting around to. So I need to hit those 3,000 watch hours before October 6th. October 6th was when I hit 1,000 subscribers and all of this has to happen within a year. Like, so hit 1,000 subscribers. Now it's 500 subscribers. And then the 3,000 watch hours within a year in order to get monetized, I think. So I need to hit this by October 6th. So essentially by the end of the third quarter, the end of the third quarter is in September. So if you guys wouldn't mind binge watching my other videos, I would greatly appreciate that. So that needs to happen within a year so I can get monetized. So that's the first goal to get monetized by the end of this year. And I think it's gonna be very possible seeing as though I'm doing VEDA again. VEDA, V-E-D-A is an acronym for vlogging every day in April or August. So I did that in April. If you're not aware, I posted every single day for the month of April. I will put the list here, the playlist here, if you want to go check it out. I think those videos are pretty good. And I would say at least four of them performed super well for my channel that is so like i have 1300 subscribers and those videos got like over a thousand like views i think for me that's viral for like my subscriber count view time i think that's viral so yeah i'm doing veda again for the month of august like i said it was a lot of work but i also had fun because i was just posting random stuff that i wouldn't normally post and it worked and I have a plan since now I don't have to pay that $300 for the storage. I have $300 extra dollars which I can either put towards saving or I can like put towards my debt to pay it off quicker. Either way, I still have $300 extra dollars and I would like to save some of that. So I have a goal in mind to save a certain amount of money by the end of July and also by the end of each month until the end of the year. So that's number two, save a certain amount of money by the end of July and also by the end of the year. I wanna have fun this summer. I have to change hands, my hands are starting to hurt. <laughs> so I wanna have fun this summer. And it's so crazy because like, I never had to plan to do things when I was in Florida. I just went and did those things. So the last two summers I have spent inside more or less and it was two reasons. The first reason obviously is money. I was trying not to spend money. I wanted to save money but I ended up spending that money on Amazon which is like so pointless. 2022 I really struggled. I struggled a lot. I would just order things on Amazon because I didn't want to go to the store to buy things and I ended up spending a lot more money on Amazon because it was so easy. Just click on the app and your things are there the next day and I wouldn't want to go outside and then at the end of 2022 I said yeah I, I can't keep going like this so I made some changes for 2023 so it, it improved and now I'm just like I do not want to stay inside this summer I just cannot it can't be nice outside and I'm inside all the time so yeah that's my little side note so the first reason I stayed inside was Amazon the second reason was I was sulking sulking and missing my life in florida which is why i wasn't doing anything and i just don't want that to happen this year like i'm just like sick of staying inside we've been blessed with like at least three weeks straight of nice weather three weeks yeah it rains like maybe once or twice but it it rained at night 
but for the most part it's been nice weather and i have been working most of the time or staying inside like to edit videos which is fine but i want to be intentional about doing fun things this summer so like the stuff that i used to do back in the day like going to the movies once a week i used to go to the movies once a week when I was in Florida and sometimes I'll go and watch like two or three movies in one day that's a bit extreme I don't think I'll be watching three movies in one day but I can do two the last time I went to the movies last summer to see Barbie I also saw another movie the same day so when I was done with Barbie I had a ticket for another movie talk to me a scary movie which wasn't so scary so I want to have fun and do things I've never done before. I wanna do an escape room or do maybe bowling. I've never been bowling before. I've been to a bowling alley, but like I was there with friends and we were just like, we just ordered food. I didn't actually bowl. So yeah, I wanna have fun this summer. And I think that's all I have on my list. So having fun this summer, saving X amount of dollars, doing VEDA for August. So that goes hand in hand with like having to edit those videos for VEDA. So that means I, I want to be able to be done filming and editing 15 to 20 videos by the end of July. That way I'm ahead of the curve. Since I'll be posting every day, I want those videos to be ready to go ahead of time. And then what was the other thing I wanted to do? Hit 3,000 watch hours by the end of September. That's, that's more for like the end of the quarter versus the end of July. So I think that's all I got. If I have anything else, I'll just add it on or put a note at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick one and I will see you guys in the next video. I still have my review for Normani's album coming out as well as that of Camila Cabello and I'm still deciding to if I want to do a review for Brat. So those are the three things I do have coming up for the month of July. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.